Oh my God, just look at this. Welcome back to The Phoenix Project. We're Laura and Anthony, a young married couple who left the UK behind in search of a new home in rural Bulgaria. We have dreams of living a sustainable, off-grid life where we can spend more time with each other and enjoy life. Last week we renovated the girls' bedroom with brand new bunk beds and a lick of paint. This week temperatures are plummeting and we're finding new ways to stay warm. We're trying to take care of the local strays as best we can and Anthony designs a new wood storage for some extra wood to keep us warm through the final months of winter. That's what's coming up on The Phoenix Project. Um, we had so much in savings, basically, and uh, most of that has gone on getting the visas to live here. Um, and because I made a mistake in the beginning, I didn't read through all the paperwork and double check the dates. Um, it's my mistake. I uh, basically screwed the whole thing when we got here. Um, we made the appointment and it was screwed. So now we have to pay another like £800. Uh, we still need to register the van. Um, uh, you know, we're running out of time for that. That's going to cost a lot of money. Um, you know, and we're just, I'm working, I'm, I'm top, we're topping up our income, we got our first YouTube check uh, this week, and it was amazing. This is so cool, they were lovely in there, and they had little, little Petrika keeping themselves warm. There it is, the first letter from YouTube, and actually, I think it might be the second, but it's the first check, and it says Phoenix Project on it. So cool. <laughs> um, for our first month, it was fantastic, but it's just... There's such a huge drain on our finances because it's our first year here. Um, like we're just struggling. Now we're trying to get back on track um, and we're gonna speak to some friends and family and just see if we can um, put the money together to pay for the final residency on Monday. Um, and then hopefully that will be the last huge thing we have to pay for for a little while. So we can just get back to it and start uh, saving money again. The second problem is that Ghost and Spot, the two stray dogs that you saw in the last video, um, were worried about. Um, it's really cold at the moment and there's we live right next to like kind of a main road. There's a main road that runs like uh, just through here. On the other side of that house there's kind of a road that has lorries and everything. And I'm, I'm just, I'm worried that they're gonna get knocked over. Um, I know there'll be people watching this going, oh, she's not gonna get knocked over, they're not, they'll be fine. But um, they come here and I feel partially like responsible. I wanna help them. So we're gonna try and catch Ghost um, this weekend and bring her in with, into our enclosure. Um, she's She's been fine with our, our dogs. So we're gonna pop her in the outdoor enclosure so she's got some shelter and food um away from the other dog who is a male and has been seen humping her and it's only a matter of time before she gets pregnant and then we have problems with puppies and it gets worse so we're hoping that we can try and prevent her from getting pregnant if she isn't already um and then try and get them to the vets to get them done so yeah we're trying to work on our mental health uh this this month and just try to do things that will help us stay happy and positive like we usually are so yeah some cold exposure um, I think it's about I looked last it was minus four um, 
I'm keeping my hands uh, warm because my hands tend to suffer but I'm going to take the dogs for a run um, so we can get a good mental health start for, um, for the day because I'm feeling like crap so let's go. shining down on me this morning <sighs> saying what the hell are you doing running in snow in shorts crazy man So today we have to. I'm sorry, I didn't know you were gonna film. I'm sorry. That was rude. I'm sorry. So today, stop laughing. So today, uh, I have to build some outdoor storage for wood because the last load we got, it was raining when it was delivered, which was meh, meh. but it was raining when it was delivered uh, and we put it away wet. Uh, probably shouldn't have done that, but we didn't have a choice. We needed the wood in the house. So we put it in the house, in the storage through by the bathroom. We've shown you that storage that we built specifically for it. And quite a lot of it had mold on it. <clears throat> um, and we stacked it so it had circulation, but I guess it's just, doesn't get a lot of airflow through there and it's very cold at the moment. Uh, so yeah, today's task, build storage outside so that first of all, it's gonna be on the front of the house. So first of all, it will be right where the wood gets dropped off. We can just stack it straight against the wall. And second of all, it shouldn't get moldy because it will be outdoors and it will be getting circulated with fresh air all of the time. First task, find what materials I have so I can figure out what the hell I'm gonna build. Let's go. Come with me, let's see what tiles we've got. Because I'm planning on putting tiles across the top of this. Um, I've started the job, but I haven't actually looked to see what tiles I've got. Ah, here we go. These are the proper tiles that are on the roof, the, the actual house roof. Right, so I'll take a couple of these and see what I need to cut to put them on the roof.
Okay, so it got a little bit dark last night and I couldn't finish the job. But there we go, we're almost there. I just need to uh, put the rest of the roof tiles on and I can start putting the logs underneath. I can't see a damn thing. Hang on a minute. Oh. All right, so again, it got dark. Wah, wah. Uh, I've started to, don't look at that. I've started to lock. <laughs> I've started to stack the logs. Um, but yeah, I've done, done most of the tiles. I need to find more tiles. Um, yeah, it's not looking bad. I quite like the, uh, the look of these random bits of wood. I was gonna do it with, with proper wood, but yeah, there you go. Almost finished, but it's basically gonna look like that, but longer. So, whoa. <laughs> so, uh, so we picked up Ghost this morning and um, she's safe with us now. Um, Anthony actually saw someone trying to beat her. Um, and there was somebody running away from her because she kind of looks a bit scary, so I don't blame them, but she's safe with us now. Um, we aren't going to get Spot just yet. We don't know where he's gone, um, first of all. And secondly, he's a boy, so that causes a lot of problems. Um, but she's just having a nice walk with me, me and the girls. Um, and she's, you're lovely, aren't you, hey? You're lovely, you're a lovely girl. You're lovely. You're a good girl. Uh, obviously, we she's a stray who's had trauma, so we're not going to have her anywhere near the kids. Um, but she's <laughs> she's actually able to escape um, the enclosure, so we're going to have to rethink the the gate. Uh, it's too short for her, um, so she can. I just saw her running about on the road as we were coming back, so uh, we have to rethink that. But she's safe and uh, we appreciate all of you uh, helping us with some advice, supporting us. Um, means that we can organise for her to go to the vets, have her vaccinations, get sp uh, spayed, most importantly. Uh, hopefully she's not pregnant. Um, I know that she's um, had her period because we saw her uh, bleeding the other day. So, um, so yeah, hopefully she's okay. But we're just having a nice... A nice walk with these two crazy, crazy weirdos. It's always play fighting. Um, you know, they get on really well together. So um, it's okay, ghost. They get on really well together. So it's all fine, isn't it? Hey, it's all fine. It's okay. He's a good girl. He's a good She's cowering a bit sometimes, aren't you? Hey, you're cowering a little bit sometimes because you're frightened. Um, but yeah, she's safe. Good girl. Good girl, aren't you, hey? Good girl. Yeah, no, get down. Get down. Good girl. Sydney. Good girl. Are you considering living in the Balkans or somewhere similar where the winters are really deadly? Then here we have some tips for surviving winter. And now we are looking at a Bulgarian winter that could be very cold, although the locals say it's mild this year. So um, we're looking at maybe minus 12, minus 14 um, in the coming weeks. So here are some tips to survive if there are power cuts and extreme cold temperatures. What some of you may not know is that Anthony and I spent two winter seasons in Finnish Lapland, so we know our way around freezing cold temperatures and how to avoid frostbite and some of the other really terrible injuries caused by the frost. So spare batteries, candles on a candlestick thing already or in a pack, you can get tea lights. And these little tiny battery packs are amazing. It shows you the percentage that's left here um, on the side. And they also have a little torch on the front here. Um, a battery powered USB torch is also really useful. Um, anything that can give you power. We have Makita batteries that we can plug a USB charger into. And these, we have two of these and they're amazing. 
Another top tip is to never walk around barefoot. In the moment, it might feel fine, but always put something fluffy and cozy on your feet to prevent chill blains. We also have an electric blanket on our main bed and hot water bottles to keep the beds nice and warm. This is a lovely, fluffy, cozy blanket that Anthony bought me for Christmas. We also always have 20 litres of water in the kitchen just in case we need extra water in an emergency. The girls also have their tablet, this is for travelling long distances and also if we ever have power cuts they've always got films downloaded and ready to go. So we generally always try to have stuff on charge, we always have two three battery packs floating about um, so that we've always got um, power. We always take these out with us anyway um, so that we've got extra charge if we run out of battery. Um, and we just try to always have lighters, matches, candles, uh, snacks, everything that you might need in case of a power cut. Um, and of course, lots of blankets, um, especially in the car as well. Important to have blankets in the car, spare water, um, and a little survival kit in your car just in case there's uh, bad weather so yeah it's important to stay prepared in the winter here in Bulgaria. just want to say a huge thank you to our Patreons without you we wouldn't be able to keep creating these YouTube videos so easily um, it really gives us some motivation to keep going and we're so appreciative of you so thank you so much Patreon members don't forget as well if you want to make a one-time donation to our channel that was the cat um, <laughs> you can give us a super thanks so you can click down below uh, and enter the amount and it's a one-time donation to our channel <laughs>